Hello my friends, thank you for joining me for Nature Walk Part 2. We're going to continue this walk um, off now, up the old ancient pathway and back to where we started at crossing the main road of the industrial estate. So come on, let's go for a walk. Okay, so I'm going to show you this area because I am truly horrified by what I'm seeing right now. That was fully covered and as you can see trees have been cut down and yeah, opened the space up. But at what cost to nature? And I know the tree surgeon that's doing this job and let me tell you, I'm glad I don't know him anymore. It's a private piece of land now not owned by the council and when I say cleared I mean you couldn't see the other the other side of the road ever it's always been woodland and now look at it it's almost just like <laughs> derelict I am truly horrified I hope I don't bump into him because he will get a piece of my mind not that that will ever make any difference with him so there's my there's my okay so this is an ancient public footpath um, style free <laughs> I won't say mud free but on a dry day like this it's perfect now this is the one of the original pathways through the woodland oh, I love this bit help, hopefully help me to forget what I've just filmed um, I mean in recent times they have put gravel pathway but when we get further in it goes back to being in fact right here it goes back to being um, mud pathway and the water course there is a water course that down there So I'm going to try not to talk too much through here so you can listen to the birds and enjoy the, the walk. The vegetation in here is really dense and right there at that point it goes really cool it's like this cool spot it's really weird um, the energy definitely changes from here on in not that you can feel that but <laughs> you have to trust me so this water course down here a little bit of the brook this is the old brook part of the old brook that goes into that brook that has been poisoned. But you can see how wet and muddy it does get. And I mean muddy. Seriously need your wellies on over here. But again, this watercourse, look at the state of it. And I'm surprised even flipping water even manages to get through. And this is council territory, so... Oh, that wasn't there a while back, last year. So that's fallen. But again, left to do its thing. I've just brushed against some nettle. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, 
That's doing a whole tingle up my arm. Like I've been <laughs> mini electrocutions all up my arm. So now coming out, it's not far now, though. you may hear the road start to integrate and the buildings that are from the industrial estate which is to the left and to the right and that was a J, look, Let's see if we can get him, oh I've missed him, ah oh, missed him, that was a beautiful J. Yeah, so the air conditioning from this unit on the left. quite funny because I wasn't actually planning to do this today but hey here we are I did ask the universe what would you like to do today <laughs> clearly this was the answer and I have been down here before and from my plastic bag and collected up all the rubbish because people just drop it all over the floor no respect again for nature um, so let's meander a little bit further and then I will take you back to where we started because we're about to go onto the main road And actually, up this corner is normally where all the litter is, but there have been some litter pickers uppers. <laughs> Did you get that? There have been some litter picker uppers. Um, local to me, they have just part of the community project. The um, grab a bag, grab a stick, and go out and pick all the litter up. Um, so I'm really happy that people are doing that now, because actually here on this corner, from here in, from these workers this estate they would just come and dump all of their litter here but clearly somebody has been in and cleaned it all up because I was forever doing this corner don't have to do it now somebody else has taken over isn't that lovely that log it's like a fairy log look so anyway you can hear the road in the background so I'm just going to cut off here and um, yeah catch up with you again in a minute okay so this is an ancient public footpath and um, style free <laughs> I won't say mud free but on a dry day like this it's perfect now this is the original one of the original pathways through the woodland oh, I love this bit help, hopefully help me to forget what I've just filmed um, I mean in recent times they have put gravel pathway but when we get further in it goes back to being in fact right here it goes back to being um, mud pathway and the water course there is a water course that down there I'm going to try not to talk too much through here so you can listen to the birds and enjoy the, the walk. The 
vegetation in here is really dense. And right there, at that point, it goes really cool. It's like this cool spot. It's really weird. Um, the energy definitely changes from here on in. Not that you can feel that, but <laughs> you'll have to trust me. So this watercourse down here, a little bit of the brook. This is the old brook, part of the old brook that goes into that brook that has been poisoned. But you can see how wet and muddy it does get. And I mean muddy. Seriously need your wellies on over here. But again, this watercourse, look at the state of it. And I'm surprised even flipping water even manages to get through. And this is council territory, so... I wasn't there a while back, last year, so that's fallen. But again, left to do its thing. just brushed against some nettle. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, that's doing a whole tingle up my arm. Like I've been <laughs> mini electrocutions all up my arm. not far now that you may hear the road start to integrate and the buildings that are from the industrial estate which is to the left and to the right and that was a J look Let's see if we can get him oh I've missed him ah oh, missed him that was a beautiful J yeah so the air conditioning from this unit on the left. quite funny because I wasn't actually planning to do this today but hey here we are I did ask the universe what would you like to do today <laughs> clearly this was the answer and I have been down here before and brought my plastic bag and collected up all the rubbish because people just drop it all over the floor no respect again for nature um, so let's meander a little bit further and then I will take you back to where we started because we're about to go onto the main road And actually, up this corner is normally where all the litter is, but there have been some litter pickers uppers. <laughs> Did you get that? There have been some litter picker uppers. Um, local to me, they have just 
the part of the community project, the um, grab a bag, grab a stick and go out and pick all the litter up. Um, so that I'm really happy that people are doing that now because actually here on this corner, from here in, from these workers on this estate, they would just come and dump all of their litter here. But clearly, somebody has been in and cleaned it all up because I was forever doing this corner. Don't have to do it now, somebody else has taken over. Isn't that lovely, that log? It's like a fairy log. Look. So anyway, you can hear the road in the background, so I'm just gonna cut off here and, um, yeah, catch up with you again in a minute. Okay, so this is an ancient public footpath, um, style free. <laughs> I won't say mud free, but on a dry day like this, it's perfect. Now this is the orig one of the original pathways the woodland. Oh, I love this bit. Help, hopefully help me to forget what I've just filmed. Um, I mean in recent times they have put gravel pathway but when we get further in it goes back to being, in fact right here, it goes back to being um, mud pathway. And the watercourse, there is a watercourse that down there I'm going to try not to talk too much through here so you can listen to the birds and enjoy the, the walk. vegetation in here is really dense and right there at that point it goes really cool it's like this cool spot it's really weird um, the energy definitely changes from here on in not that you can feel that but <laughs> you'd have to trust me so this watercourse down here a little bit of the brook this is the old brook part of the old brook that goes into that brook that has been poisoned. But you can see how wet and muddy it does get. And I mean muddy. Seriously need your wellies on over here. But again, this watercourse, look at the state of it. And I'm surprised even flipping water even manages to get through. And this is council territory, so. Oh, that wasn't there a while back, last year. So that's fallen. But again, left to do its thing. I've just brushed against some nettle. <laughs> Thanks for that. Oh, that's doing a whole tingle up my arm. Like I've been <laughs> mini electrocutions all up my arm. So now coming out, 
it's not far now though. You may hear the road start to integrate and the buildings that are from the industrial estate which is to the left and to the right and that was a J. Look, see if we can get him. Oh I've missed him. Ah, oh, missed him. That was a beautiful J. Yeah, so the air conditioning from this unit on the left. quite funny because I wasn't actually planning to do this today but hey here we are I did ask the universe what would you like to do today <laughs> clearly this was the answer and I have been down here before and brought my plastic bag and collected up all the rubbish because people just drop it all over the floor no respect again for nature um, so let's meander a little bit further and then I will take you back to where we started because we're about to go onto the main road And actually, up this corner is normally where all the litter is, but there have been some litter pickers uppers. <laughs> Did you get that? There have been some litter picker uppers. Um, local to me, they have just part of the community project. The um, grab a bag, grab a stick, and go out and pick all the litter up. Um, so I'm really happy that people are doing that now, because actually here on this corner, from here in, from these workers this estate they would just come and dump all of their litter here but clearly somebody has been in and cleaned it all up because I was forever doing this corner don't have to do it now somebody else has taken over isn't that lovely that log it's like a fairy log look so anyway you can hear the road in the background so I'm just going to cut off here and um yeah catch up with you again in a minute okay so this is the main not a main road this is a road that goes through the industrial estate and over there is where we're going through that little gap there but in the meantime and this is a bus route as well I'm not gonna film all the cars but um, and here comes the bus so I'm just gonna pick you back up in a minute and uh, you. Okay, so here's the entrance or exit from where we were down the bottom before. Um, and over the other side, if we was to go on, over the road, the opposite side of this is there. It links up. And this is really cool in here because it's cool as in shady, cool, and not as in, oh, this is cool. No. <laughs> this is. Um, and there's another little pathway there that goes out onto the main, main A road. But this is that pathway. You wouldn't believe that there is such a beautiful park and nature reserve plonked right in the middle of an industrial estate. But hey ho, there is. And I have to say that industrial estate never used to be that big, obviously. When I was growing up, one of my brothers used to work over there. Um, And just a few units over there. Now there must be oh, well over 100 and then some 200 maybe, 250 maybe, 300. We've still got, luckily, so much of this to, so much of this beauty and, and peace and look. 
If I could get across there, we'd meditate. And normally in the autumn I can because all of this has died back. I might even be able to get through there actually. Um, still a little bit too close to the road. Anyway. So just around the corner here is where I stopped filming before. Um, so yeah. You've been on today's walk with me. I don't know how long it's going to take, but I hope you've enjoyed it. And I really hope it's been helpful for anybody that's maybe housebound or bound by their health in some ways. They could, they're not very mobile. That you could just sit and walk and be with us today, I say us, me and the invisible fairies and angels and <laughs> nature spirits. So here's the bend where I stopped filming before. I just love this tree. There's just something super amazing and magical about that tree. I love it. So this is back where we started. So there we have it my friends, that was Crow saying goodbye. So that was Robin talking to Robin and a Crow saying goodbye. Not sure if it picked it up. So not sure if uh, that picked it up but I'm, and it was a bit of a quick ending. Uh, so I'm hoping that you enjoyed the journey and we'll go for another walk some other time. I know there was another clip somewhere but I can't seem to find it um, where it's uploaded. So I hope that you enjoyed that walk with me and join me again soon. Thank you my friends. Bye.